So today I actually wanted to show you my superior drummer setup and how you can metal mix your drums. Uh, but before I do this, I actually wanted to cover some different terms for all the noobs out there. And those terms would, would be stuff like insert effects, send effects, bus channels and routing and all that noise. Um, because we are going to use all this stuff, all those functions in Superior Drummer. And since I didn't want to really explain all this stuff in between while I'm showing you my Superior Drummer setup, I'm doing this now in a separate part of this tutorial series. Uh, so let's go right in it. Uh, for this, I'm going to need some visual aids and I took the liberty to create some highly professional graphics. Now here in graphic one, you see how insert and send effects work and their major differences. On the left diagram, we have the insert effect. The arrow represents the path that the audio signal is taking through your DAW meaning Digital Audio Workstation, D-A-W. I know it sounds stupid, no. but anyways. Um, so the insert effects pretty much does exactly what its name implies. As you can see, the signal is just going through, la di da and then along comes some insert effects, and bam, it processes the signal, and it's going back out, being processed. You can imagine this like you're jogging through the woods, and along comes some jerk and pulls off a wicked falcon punch in your face. And after this small incident, you would jog on with a wicked injury on your head and probably you're also heading for the hospital. Now, in the right diagram, you see how a scent effect works. Now, first of all, a scent effect could also be referred to as sidechain effect or bus scent effect, any of these, but they basically all mean the same thing. So as you can see here, the arrow, again, being the signal path, it's going through your DAO. And at the first cross section up there, it's being split. Or rather, you could say the signal is being copied. Now, the original signal is just going through unprocessed and unhindered, and it's being very happy and laughing at your face and the copy of the signal is being processed with some effects. And then at the second cross section, the original signal is being mixed with the affected or processed signal, and both are running along together afterwards. So you would have some sort of Siamese twins back there. You can also imagine this as a stream of river that's being forked at one point, and the one stream it's just going along, being very nice and clean, and in the second stream, someone voids his bladder into it, and then at one point, the clean stream and the urine-stained stream are being mixed together again. Now in the next diagram, I'm going to show you what a bus channel is. Here you can see it pretty good. But first of all, let's ask ourselves, what is a bus in real life? Well, basically, it's a vehicle that transports multiple people. But now let's abstract this, so we take away all the details until we, we look at this situation in the most basic way. A bus is simply a tool to do something for multiple different things. So, a bus is transporting multiple peoples. Now, what does it do in music production matters? Well, as you can see here, we have a channel one and a channel two. Now, those can be either your left guitar or your right guitar, or it can be the mic inside the kick drum, or it can be the mic outside the kick drum. And now you think, hey, I want to layer some effects on both channels, the same effects, but I don't want to have to go through the pain of layering those individually. So what we do, we root both of these channels through one common bus channel. And on this bus channel, we can now apply insert effects or send effects or other different funny things. And after this, both of the signals of channel one and channel two are being affected with the same things and sent out again as one signal. And now if we go back to the insert slash send diagram, uh, I can explain to you the insert effect basically 
is being layered directly on one original channel. So you would have here uh, channel one, and the insert effects are being layered right on top of that. Now on the center effects, you would have a channel, and the signal of that channel is being split, and the copy signal is being processed with some effects on a bus channel, and then being mixed again with the signal from the original channel. Now you can apply these different functions uh, as something like this. You have on the left side a channel one, and some insert effects are being layered on it. Afterwards, some sidechain effects. And on the right side, you have a channel two. And first we have the sidechain effects, and afterwards some insert effects. And both signals are going afterwards through one common bus channel. And on this one, you can again apply insert effects or send effects. And in the end, it's just going through as one signal again. You can also do something interesting like this. As you can see here, channel one, channel two, and their common bus channel are using the same bus send channel uh, for sidechain effects. That is also possible. Or you can also do something interesting like this. Now, if you can see through this diagram, this is basically the setup for my Cubase projects. But I'll still come to that in, in a later part. So, and what routing basically means is nothing else than to set the path of the signals of those different channels. So all the, those lines in here uh, would simply show you how the signal is being routed. And there's nothing special to this word. So now that you got a basic idea what those terminologies actually mean and what they imply, I can go on in the next part with my actual superior drummer setup and how you can mix drums. So I'm sorry there are no additional good information in here. It's just very basic stuff for all the newbies out there who are not very sure about all those terms and how to apply those in Superior Drama or other plugins or how to set up their productions. Now these are all functions that we're going to put into use over the next tutorial parts and then you'll also get a hang of that.